everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and today I'm going to be checking my bins to see if there's any frogs. So this was my first year with trying to breed fish out in the summer tubs. Last year I had some aquatic gardens that I just fell in love with. I was kind of nervous though. So this year I tried, this year I tried to breed fish in my summer tubs. Let's see if it worked out for me this year. So let's go to the first bin. I think I put in white clouds. Let's see what I got. So here I'm gonna go look in for those white clouds in here. Go back and look. Because that is not a white cloud. Some kind of live bear. What live bear did I put in? Huh. Oh yeah, there's a little baby fry in there. But most of them look like the fish I put in there. Let me check another one. Boy, is it hot out here. Whew. So I got another bin I'm gonna check. This one has wild guppies, I'm sure. I have lots of fry in that one. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Let me go check though. So here is, oh yeah, a lot of guppy fry but I didn't expect anything less than that. Yeah, all different generations. I was hoping to pull out some garamis, but nope. Okay, now we're gonna check the blue bin which had creamsicle mollies in it. Let's go see if I have any fry there. I know I saw at least one fry floating around. Let's see if I can catch any and see how many are in there, or at least a good sampling. Okay, I got a mystery fish in here. So these should all be a creamsicle molly. That one's a creamsicle molly. What is that? Maybe that's a molly. I can't focus on it. That's like a different color. Like it didn't breed true. Cut right there. Huh. I'll try to bring it up and see if I can get a better shot on it. So this one is definitely a molly, I can tell that. And it's a creamsicle. But there doesn't look like there's too many fry in that tub. So now here I have mosquito fish. I think I started off with seven. And I probably have about 50 or so. Plus I took a whole lot to my, uh, to my fish club meeting. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to pull any up. They're so fast. I'm sure I usually get tell by the little droplets. I swear they know when I'm carrying this net. So this is the tub that I started keeping some uh, carnivorous plants in. So I threw some mosquito fish in here. Oh, and I see tons over here. Okay. So I just finished editing some of my video from my fry and I was not liking what I saw with my tubs. They were overgrown with water hyacinths beyond the point of being useful. If I did a little weeding, let me show you. So, oh, see, even without those hyacinths, you can see the, the Molly and her baby doing good. So far, that's all that's in there. Guppies are in here, and I think I've got tons and tons of fry. Now I can see the actual tub. How great is that? Then we come over here. Over here is my white cloud minnow. I really like my white cloud minnow tub. I love the fact that there's a ton of white clouds in here. Not a whole lot of fry, but then I started doing the math and they've only been out here for six weeks. And if I look real close over here, I'm gonna hold this still for a minute to see if you can see these tiny, tiny fry. Hundreds of them. Well, at least a dozen. <laughs> Which I think is awesome. But two, I think that they were getting so choked out. Even Frankie and Johnny were getting a little choked out. Say hi, Frankie. That's Frankie. And this is Johnny. So I did leave one or two in here. 
I left a couple in here. So I took some out of my pond too. This whole area was overgrown with water hyacinth. It was so overgrown with water hyacinth that water from the waterfall was not flowing through. There was no flowing water on the side. So I cleared out all that. And in the beginning of the summer, I loved it because I didn't have a lot of root system. I didn't have a lot of these plants yet. Obviously, I just made my pond this year, so there was, I had to go through the cycling, and so all the roots helped. This tub got so overgrown, and this has only been going for maybe a couple weeks. But as you can see, the root system on these things are phenomenal, and they're great for fry to high in but they do tend to choke everything out. So my daughter had a really good idea. Let's set them on fire. Let's start a little bonfire, but it's about 95 degrees out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in this garbage bag and dispose of them properly. So at the beginning of the year to get started, I bought three. And now I probably have 300. And I live between a canal and a river, so I gotta be really careful where these end up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you enjoy these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you want to see my upcoming videos. Even though there's not a whole lot of fry, I do have some fry in each of the tubs, which I'm thrilled about, and I still have a few more weeks to go. So hopefully I'll get some more fry. And then I have to, I'm gonna set up some tanks and get them cycled. From when these guys are done for the season out here, I'll have a tank to put them in and I'm gonna use the pond water, and then I'll just keep changing it, do water changes until it's back to tank water. And we'll see how that transition goes. Very excited though. Well, thanks everybody for checking out my one, two, three, four tubs. There's not four tubs. Oh, <laughs> that's the painted turtles. There are guppies in there, but they're just, you know, like chilling. They're just like chilling out waiting to be dinner. So I, Thanks for checking out tub number one, tub number two, and that little round tub right there.